The push is on to get surveillance cameras on all over nursing homes, even in patients' rooms. The state's attorney general supports the extra set of eyes and ears, and so does the daughter of a woman allegedly injured. Here's CBS 2 Suzanne Lemigno with our original report. If it wasn't for that video, I would have never known what happened with my mother. I would have never known the truth. Lisa Lopez speaks of how she learned of her mother falling, breaking her hip, femur, and fracturing her pelvis. She went to go take the blanket off, and that's when my mother's whole side of the hip was just bent and sticking out. Lopez says her mother, suffering from encephalitis, was in the care of Concord Nursing and Rehab Center, now known as Aperion Care Oak Lawn, when she fell. You had told them at the facility that she really needed to stay in the wheelchair. Yes. Why did you and all of your other family members insist she stay in a wheelchair? Because she couldn't walk. Lopez filed a negligence lawsuit against the facility. If we didn't have access to the video, as I said, you're kind of stuck with what the incident reports indicate if an incident report is filled out. I had to fight to get the video. I had to get my lawyer to fight to get that video. When she sees it? It was horrific. It was horrifying. I mean, just to see exactly what happened, the phone call they even told me she fell out of her wheelchair. And it wasn't a wheelchair. It, it wasn't was a, a wheelchair. It was a regular chair. In a statement, Aperion Care Oak Lawn says the facility does its best to maintain the highest quality of care for its residents. There have been and continue to be changes and improvements made there. Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan in September proposed legislation to allow families to have video or audio monitoring devices in their loved ones' rooms at nursing homes. We think that it's a great idea to use inexpensive technology to give both family members peace of mind, but to make sure that there is quality care being given in these nursing facilities. I just think they really need to pass this law. Lopez's mother, Jean Mangan, died about four months after she was injured. The cause, congestive heart failure. Meantime, Attorney General Madigan says the proposed legislation came from public complaints from those with loved ones in nursing homes. Now, if it becomes law, families would be able to place cameras and audio equipment on their own in loved ones' rooms to monitor them 24-7 with consent. Live in the newsroom, Suzanne LeMignot, CBS2 News. Kate, Rob. Okay, Suzanne, thanks.